What's up guys, this is Joe Keen Johnson 4 and today I'm doing an emblem tutorial for you guys and this one was requested like from a long time ago since I first posted it and uh, showing this cardinal and one of my emblems and um, you know my latest emblems uh, episode and um, I'll finally do it today <laughs> yeah and I know I like I got like a lot of requests uh, saying you know do it Joe do it yeah well today I'm doing it for you guys hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, hopefully you guys follow this step by step in order for you to have the cardinal on your weapon and as your emblem so yeah and I'm getting invites <laughs> during this thing hate when people do that so yeah we're gonna go to tools we're gonna start creating uh, the beak first pretty much a complicated process make sure that you find the soup over here you pretty much gonna use this whole thing to uh, create the beak it's pretty simple I'll teach you right now and also make sure you press R3 or whatever button you need to, to press in order for you to freeform and now uh, you'll be able to create the bottom part of the beak you're gonna copy and paste it and decide flip it with a select button or whatever every button you have under your controller that says flip and then you're gonna cross this over like this and now you have kind of a beak as you can see here it's starting to form Let's see if I can do this bigger there we go alright now we got like those two beaks right we got the two beaks now this part we're gonna like, need to make it like a little butt I don't know <laughs> yeah I know what uh, it's kind of funny but yeah it does have like a little butt on the beak I don't know if you guys have seen the Louisville's um, Cardinals logo uh, we're gonna need like the let me see if I can find it where is it there is like an inverted butt one where is the logo at oh. I hate when this happens to me like I can't find a certain logo even though I saw it like so many times where is it god damn it I probably had to skip a forward for the to find it and I found it it's called the kiss I don't understand why it's called the kiss but yeah you're gonna need to install the kiss in order for us to cover up all that little white part right there yes yes we're gonna change colors right now just hold on because uh you know I want to set all this thing up first and then I'll change the color I'll make sure to uh, there we go now it's a little bit more connected now I need to move this part a little bit like that there we go we got the beak and you don't know how to freeform press R3 if you have a PS3 in the Xbox 360 I don't really know because I don't play Xbox at all so don't ask me about Xbox you probably know you, you can probably see the menu as, as you can see there in the controls if um, uh, to, it tells you how to freeform right there. Just press R3 and uh, whatever Xbox is, you know, just click on the Xbox button. It tells you to click. So now we're gonna be uh, creating the head. Now, well, let me change the color first. Could be like an orange color. Any color, kind of color it could be. Let me see. Right there. Uh -huh. You gotta have all the same colors or not. It's gonna be like all different colors and stuff and you don't want that there you go we got ourselves a beak and now we're gonna create the the teeth now we just need any kind of circular object I don't know it could be this one right here and uh, you don't have, doesn't have it to be any shape or form just put it like this and then send it all the way back to layer one and as you can see right there you kinda have the teeth now we kinda have it and now uh, in order to unlock this part right here it's called the commando you gotta do what it tells you to, to do there in order to unlock it you gotta get the ladder, color it black, and there you go. Just make sure you stretch it out with free form. And you're gonna need two of these, by the way, because you need to, you know to do the upper part of the teeth and the lower part. So, god damn, I'm getting like a lot of invites. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good in. Uh, I'm doing pretty good in Black Ops right now. That everybody sent sending me invites. You know, thank you to all my subscribers. You know, um, I'll be inviting you guys soon so you can play together and do some crazy stuff like uh, zombie nice or something so now here we go we got the teeth now do not worry about people saying that oh I can see the ladder on it and uh, you know uh, it's like that's those are not real teeth don't worry about it I mean it looks like a freaking carnal to me right <laughs> so there we go we got the whole mouth done and um, remember in order to free shape uh, form make sure to look at the controls button where it says fixed scale you gotta click R3 to free scale and oh they changed the words I thought it was free shape or something like that well you gotta free scale in order for you to uh, you know match up all these parts like these so yeah the, the top beak has to be bigger than the bottom beak because um, that's how I have it has it on uh, uh, the Cardinals logo so so yeah now we're gonna create the head we get to the tools menu 
and um, we're gonna choose this one called the main we're gonna s put it right here does have to be like right around there um, now I don't I don't count squares I usually just go like with my like uh, you know how I think it looks so so yeah now we're gonna have it right here I'm gonna send it all the way back because uh, that's how it has it make sure you choose the right red color uh, I'll choose the fourth one because it looks pretty bright to me bright enough I mean so now it kind of looks like we're gonna ha have the head already make sure you, you spread it out a little bit more so you can have more space for the rest of the head and there you go and now we're gonna choose another part uh, we're gonna go back to tools and um, search for uh, where is it there it is this one's called the X you're gonna change to the same color and uh, make sure it's like right under it like this somehow there we go we gotta flip it a little bit more and then uh, you'll be able to have like the second um, the second hair or something like that um, yeah the, the Carno usually has like around three hairs and um, this one's actually a third hair that I just put right now and uh, we're gonna get another uh, we're gonna get one of those beak uh, 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 shapes in order for us to create the other hair. I'm gonna uh, put the same color. Make sure to put it in the same color because uh, there's actually two reds that look like each other, but they actually are not the same. So make sure you watch out for that. So now we got ourselves a little carnal. Now look at that. We got the head going on here. Looks like Woody the woodpecker. <laughs> it kind of does. Don't, don't you guys think? I think that made the big the beak too big now. Well, I don't care. As long as it looks like a carno, you guys will like it. Um, well, I'm not telling you, you guys will like it, like, a, like a, you know, without you, whatever. But, you know, it's going to look like a carno soon. Uh, so, we're going to make ourselves a third hair. I know the carno has, like, third hairs, uh, and uh, three hairs, I mean. And um, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, uh, let me see. Let's flip this thing. Uh, it could be any kind of a, sp a spike right here. So, it's gonna be red right here. Put it back. Kind of looks like it. There you go. Now we're gonna send it all the way back. And now the carnal has three hairs. Gonna fix this one a little bit more. And uh, kind of looks like the carnal right here. There you go. Gonna move this one a little bit more like this. And we got ourselves a head. There you go. We we just need like three shapes in order for us to create the head. But we actually need like an extra one right here, so I'm gonna move this one all the way back. Like four shapes, as you can see here, it highlights what shapes they are. I'm gonna put them in order. There you go, from top to bottom. You need the the Viking looking uh, logo, and then we're gonna need the, another one of those beak logos, and then I'm gonna find a, a logo that's called the War Axe. I mean the axe or something like that. And, and tools. I mean everything's in tools. Everything everything's in tools, and you're gonna be able to find it there. So uh, next up are the eyes. We're gonna do the eyes now, and um, for sure, for sure, this is gonna be the most complicated part because you never know what you're gonna mi be missing. Now the eyes are like pretty much a challenge because uh, you never know when you go off. We're gonna need a half a circle, as you can see here. We got the face going on already, and there we go. We got the face. We got we got an eye now. We're gonna copy and paste it. Make sure you color it black and reshape it to smaller. There you go smaller shape make sure that it's right on the line copy and paste it and uh, make sure you color it white yep you're gonna need another white one and then there you go now you know how there's like shining stuff on the on the cardinal's eye that's what it is this is what this is so uh, what we need next is the hair part um, in order for us to like see um, how well actually we need to go back I think I skip a step uh, we need another one of these copy and paste it color it black send it all the way behind the white one and make a little bit bigger there you go you know how the you know how the carno has like a like a little bit of makeup on their eye it kind of does have like a little bit of makeup but uh but you know uh still looks like a little bit of hair i think the carnos does have a little bit of hair right there or something like that but we're gonna have to move this a little bit down over here because i think i overpassed myself so yeah, you're gonna have to move everything down. Get it, get it close to the beak. Like the more closer it is, the the better it looks. Because I just noticed that I just grew up a little bit on the on that little part right there. So there we go. We got ourselves the whole eye right now. That's the whole eye. Now we need the like the black part 
you know, where it has a little black hairs. So we're going to go scroll all the way to the bottom to find the hairs. And there they are, half long hair. You're going to use this one the most to uh, create the whole uh, black thing going on. Well, not, well, I'll tell you right now, guys, uh, but, you know, we're going to need this part right here. Make sure to color it black. And now we got ourselves the hairs of a carnal. Yeah, we got the, the hairs of the carnal. Now we're going to send this behind the beak. Make sure it's behind the beak. And there it is. It's behind the beak. Make sure it's, you extend a little bit more, though. And there it is. Well, it's sticking out a little bit more, like in the bottom part. There we go. We got ourselves the black cardinal hair from the beak. It looks pretty awesome right now. It looks pretty neat. Now, it may not look perfect, but, you know, at least we got, we're getting that cardinal going on. If you guys can create it better, um, you know, <clears throat> reshape the stuff and uh, so you guys can uh, actually make it look like the logo. But right now, I'm teaching you some certain, uh, like, shapes where how you can shape it up to make it look like cardinal. And hopefully you can refix these shapes. And um, hopefully you guys can make a better one because I know this one looks like kind of a weird. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird because I forgot how to do it. I mean, it's been like a while since I stopped creating emblems. And uh, what do I need next? Um, oh, yeah, another black part. I need this thing. Color it black. Make sure it goes around the beak. Like right around there. Because you know how the, the carnal has like a black shade on the Louisville Carnals one. Yeah, it kind of does. And... Um, we need like all this black stuff right here there we go and now we can need to move the eye a little bit more because it did messed up a little a little bit like right now it's gonna look retarded <laughs> oh my god uh where did i mess up like i think i think i flipped it over a little bit but there we go we're just gonna leave it like that screw it and uh now we're gonna make the eyebrow and um well the eyebrow is it called the eyebrow i don't know it's called the eyebrow but uh it's probably this one I think it's this one. I'm not sure. Hmm. Looks kind of like a Nike sand now that I now that I see the the, the little logo of the Louisville Cardinals. I'm gonna color it black so I, it can look like uh, you know, like the end of the freaking eyebrow. God damn it! I messed up a little bit. There we go. Now we got like half of the eyebrow. Now we're gonna need to do the other half. And now we're gonna use the little Viking logo again. We're gonna go back to tools and uh, use the Viking logo in color black. And um, make sure it's like right on top of it. Don't make it too long. If not, it's gonna look like a unibrow somehow. I don't know. Make sure you 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 play with the free scale button so you guys can know like how this is gonna end up and stuff. Um, I think I messed up a little bit right here. I need to move this black thing a little bit up so it won't have to. Uh, there you go. And there you go. We got ourselves a cardinal. Kind of like a cardinal though. Eh. <laughs> it, look, it look, still looks kind of good. So I'm going to reshape this a little bit. I mean you can play with it like um, like by yourself every time. I mean once you're done you can like reshape everything. And see what you failed at. And um, you know. So you guys can see like. Uh, oh I can probably make this thing smaller. I can probably make this thing bigger. Or something like that. And you can refix it like a lot of times. As many as you want. And um, right now I'm going to teach you how to do the shading. Because uh, the shading is important, and um, the more shading you do, the more uh, better the picture will look. And um, here it goes. Um, I'm going to use the, this, this one right here. I'm going to copy and paste it. Or you can just create a new one with the same color and put it there. Now we're going to color it black. We're going to send it all the way back, but not all the, all the way to back. Like Put it behind that same shape, it's behind the shape, and move it a little bit to the left side. Wait, we gotta move like right here. See how it goes like over the other one? We're gonna make it a little bit smaller. Make sure you, like you flip it a little bit more so it can look like it was like on top of the other, you know, the other side of the head. It looks like it's making a shadow or something like that. And that's how you make the shadows. Like just by moving the color black a little bit to the left side with the same shape. And uh, you should be able to make like uh, make a little bit of shade on the on the Cardinal's head. And now uh, we're gonna take this shape over here. Or we can just take this one over here, the, the same black one, and copy and paste it. Take it all the way back. Make sure you move it like under over here, under this one. And uh, you should be able to make the shade of it. There we go. It's the same thing. I mean, it's, it's literally the same thing. Almost, I think. I'm going to just take the same one. <laughs> Screw it. I'm going to take the same one because, you know, they're both the same. And, uh... And there we go. It looks like it's making shade. As you can see, right, you barely can see it right there. There we go. We kind of made the shape right now. 
and uh, this lower part we can do the same thing just take the same shape that's all we have to do just take the same shape bring it to the front color it black bring it all the way black all the way back and uh, I should be able to do some shade again look at that beautiful shade now it looks like carno we can do the same thing for the beak and uh, make sure it doesn't interrupt the other the top part of the beak because I know some of you guys are gonna make it like look like oh like oh it's over here like just move it a little bit down just, all I have to do is just move it just copy and paste and just move it a little bit down with the color black and you should be able to do the shade like nothing there you go we got the shade going on there a little bit more shading on uh, where else would I, would I need more shade on the beak on the top beak you really need shade on the top beak in order for it to go on top of the oh I flipped it there you go <laughs> sorry so yeah we're gonna copy and paste the same shape color it black and uh, send it all the way to the back of that beak move it down a little bit down oh for uh, kinda messed up there uh, it's kinda hard to do this part cuz I know it's gonna overcross the other beak and there you go we got the other beak on top of the teeth So now it looks like it's not even connected and um, there you go so it's a kind of a look like <laughs> it kind of looks like a carno but you know you can fix it like with yourself I mean it's pretty easy to do I mean you, you saw the whole video you should be able to refix everything and free scale it and make it even better than this one because I know it looks kind of uh, you know the beak looks kind of big and the eye I don't know looks like it's kind of misshaped though but you get the you get the idea guys I mean you can make it even better you can do it your own color you can free shape it to your own uh, thing so yeah right now I was just showing you what shapes to use to make the head what shapes to use to do to use the beak and what can you do to make the shading of the bird and stuff like that so um so yeah hopefully you guys like it and uh oh and also you guys want to add more background to it uh make sure to pick up this logo called the uh, ruthless it's not really hard to do well use it is kind of hard to do so you're gonna have to do some work uh you gotta get 15 kills without dying and uh there's a over here number 10th one over here um, it's pretty easy to um, well not kind of easy now that I, now that I think about it but you gotta have to do some work in order for you guys to unlock this these two because it's gonna add more um, more like uh, stuff to it we're gonna make it bigger color it red well dark red like this and um, put it like right in the back we're gonna send it all the way back all the way back there we go we got a, like a back like a background going on in the back we're gonna copy and paste it all the way to the front there we go and color it black send it all the way back it's got to be on top of the red one though there you go now you gotta move this shape a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left whatever you want and there you go we got ourselves a background on the cart no, looks kinda awesome now so yeah guys uh, leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up if you guys want me to uh, redo this one again because <laughs> it looks kinda weird though so uh, I'm gonna save it so you, I can compare with the other cart no. Um you know, you guys want me to do more tutorials on anything and any emblems that you've seen before on my channel. You know, I'll do them again. I mean, like for example, one of these. Uh, these are the new ones that I've done, and uh, that's the carnal right there. And that's the first. This is the first carnal I did. It looks kind of more like. Uh, uh, I think that one looks better. The first one that I did, but uh, you know, this one's like that. This one, the one that I just did, did right now, is like a month later. So uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to do because the head shape. I was like really complicated. I mean, I tried to do it several times, but like this, like actually. This is my 11th take. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I took a lot of tries to make this car. No? So yeah, guys, see you guys later. Enjoy your day and happy holidays.